Welcome to BK Engineering. This is Baru Krishna. In this video series, we're going to practice some solid work exercises as well as few projects. Let's get on. Welcome back, everyone. In this video, we're going to design the discrete rotor with hub in SolidWorks. Let's open the SolidWorks here. Click on New here. Select the Part Modeling. Click on OK. So first of all, we have to change the uh, dimensions here. I am drawing the overall dimensions. In the diagram, it has the dimensions are all in mm. So we have to set in the mm here. So now we have to select a plane here. I am selecting the top plane. Click on sketch here. So first of all, I have to do the outer part. So there is a diameter of this circle, outer circle. It has 300 mm. So click on circle here, draw a circle. Give the smart dimensions for this circle. It has a diameter of 300 mm. So now we have to extrude. So now we have to extrude our circle. We have to extrude up to 4 mm. The overall thickness it has the 20 mm of base. So this, this circular part it has a 4 mm thickness. So click on exit sketch here. Click on features. Click on extrude boss. We have to give the distance of thickness of 4 mm. Click on tick mark. So now we have to create this this design in on the base of the circle. So click on this base. Click on sketch here. So now we have to draw another circle which has a diameter of 164 mm from the origin. So click on circle again. Give the smart dimensions for this circle. It has a diameter of 164 mm. So now we have to draw this part. Also, we have to draw the another circle which has a radius of 149 mm. Click on circle again. Give the smart dimensions for this circle. 149 into 2. Also, we have to draw some reference line here. Click on the center line. I'm drawing one center line, rough center line. So now we have to draw some straight lines here. Click on line from this point to So now we have to give the angle for this line. It has an angle of 3 degrees from the center line. Click on smart dimensions. Select this line and this center line. It has an angle of 3 degrees. Also we have to draw the another line. No need to draw the another line. Just simply you have to do the mirror. Click on mirror. Select the entities click on the center line so we get it so now we have to do the circular pattern here we want the 20 lines of these 20 lines of designs so click on the uh, circular pattern select these lines and we want the 20 count click on tick mark so now we have to extrude it up to 12 mm. So now we have to trim the unwanted lines and curves. Click on the trim entities. Remove these unwanted lines. Also curves.
so now we have to do the extrude how to extrude to the extrude for this or else we can remove this curve as well Exit sketch here. Click on the extrude boss. We have to extrude this. We have to extrude this up to 12 mm. Click on tick mark. So now we can see here we created this. So now again we have to create uh, draw the one more circle on the top side of this design and extrude up to 4 mm again click on the sketch here click on circle draw the circle give the dimensions for this circle it has diameter of 300 mm click on tick mark click on exit sketch you have to extrude up to 4 mm so we can see we created the base so now we have to create this hub so click on front plane click on sketch here so now we have to draw the circle so first of all I am drawing some center line So now I am drawing some lines here to create this hub. Hub having a distance of 164 by 2. First of all, I am drawing some simply diagram. So now I am giving the distance for this, having a distance of 164 by 2 mm. And this line it has a distance of 140 by 2 mm. Also we can see here the angle, it has an angle of 15 degrees from the center line, click on smart dimensions like this line and this line. So we have to give the height for this, it has a height of 34 mm. <coughs> Click on line here, select this line, it has a distance of 34 mm. So now we have to do a reward surface. Click on uh, or else we can remove this line as well. Click on exit sketch. Click on surface. 
Tricon revolved surface. As we can see here, our surface is done. Tricon tick mark. Also, we have to give the thickness for this surface. We have to give the thickness of 4 mm. So, click on this surface wall. Click on thin. We have to give the thickness of 4 mm. That's it. So, now we have to create some holes on the top side. Also, we have to give the fillet here with having a radius of 4 mm. So, click on features. Click on fillet here. Select this circle. We have to give the fillet of 4 mm. Click on tick mark. So now we have to create some holes here. The center hole it has a diameter of 50 mm. Click on sketch here on the top side. Click on circle. Give the smart dimensions for this circle. It has a diameter of 50 mm. Click on tick mark. So we have to cut this portion through wall. Click on features here. Click on extrude cut. Click on up to through wall. So also we have to create some circular holes. So click on this face sketch again. Select circles here with having a diameter of 12 mm. Click on smart dimensions, give the diameter of a piece of 12 mm. So we want the five circles. So we'll do a circular pattern here. Click on circular pattern. Select the sketch, and we want five. Click on tick mark. So we have to cut this portion as well. Click on extrude cut. I'm cutting up to twenty mm. And cutting up to some hole. As we can see here, we cut this portion. So now we have to do this pattern as well, the slots and these circles. So click on this space and click on sketch again. So select this slot first and drawing a slot here giving the random dimensions for this slot I'm giving the dimensions for this of 80 mm of length And radius of 2 mm. So also we have to draw the circles also. Click on circles here. dimensions for this circle this one having the dimensions of 8 mm and giving the diameter of 8 mm for these circles otherwise you can do some you can do something here Should be equal. 
so now i am doing a circular pattern for this click on circular sketch pattern select this sketch i want the uh, pen count so click on this mark also i want the circular pattern for this circles as well we want these also to ten count so now we can see here we did the pattern as well so now we have to cut this portion through all click on exit sketch click on extrude cut here we have to cut through all click on tick mark as you can see here we done with this so we are done with our model the disc break so i like to keep an isometric view that's it guys our model is ready if you like the video please like share and subscribe if you want to learn any courses regarding mechanical engineering please click the link in the description